Well, good news is we got through the entire scenario. Well, almost. We got to a point where we can stop. Uh, it's the top of the 11 a.m. turn, the third turn. And the last chip pull, unfortunately, was the 106th Cav Group. And so we raced in the uh, Cav uh, Scout cars into here, paid a command point to then be able to take a shot at the Panzers, hoping to suppress them. Uh, but unfortunately, that was a very low percentage chance, and we rolled the nine. So nothing was going to happen there. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, now given the current circumstances, we would need to uh, be incredibly lucky for the Germans not to occupy this hex at the end of the turn. And let me just check something real quick for the victory conditions because I wonder if it's just that hex or if it's the entire township. Controls Schollbach. Schollbach. But it doesn't say which hexes. Well, that would be a little bit of a problem, wouldn't it? Let's see, what's... I guess there's technically two, no, well, one hex. So <clears throat> let's just, let's actually just do this real quick. I'm going to not <laughs> uh, activate the 106 this time because I don't think they can really do very much and we'll pull a chip and see who gets, well, actually the first chip, that's right, the first chip is gonna have to be the direct command uh, now, the good news is that we have no uh, command points for these guys anyway, so they can't really do anything. And the first chit is going to be the 114th. All right, so now we've got a little bit of a game here. We can potentially, we can move this piece. Oh, look, there's another. No, that's Orchard. We can move this piece into here. We'll have to take off fire. Let's do that. I got to roll to see if I can take the off, do the off fire. Blue die will be the TQ check, and I fail it. Actually, six. No, I don't fail it. Six, uh, and then a five for the shot. If I look up a five real quick, I'm going to get uh, a five on the dual purpose against an unarmored target. Five. Uh, it's going to be a step loss. Well, so that's going to kill that guy. All right. Well, that sucks. Um, that really does suck. Let me just see if I can pick anything else up here in terms of mods to reduce the firepower here. Oh, you know what we need to do? We need to roll to see if we get the uh, uh, the company bonus, and we don't. We roll the seven. Yeah, we would get a terrain bonus for this hex here, which would still make it a six, make reduce this number to a six. Uh, but we are not gonna mess with this shot versus unarmored. There's no modifications. So <clears throat> that would be a kill. Okay, so we could attempt to move this chap in and go one, two into here. He could get into there that way. And there's no up fire because no one has a line of sight. And I could possibly pull this guy. Well, I can't actually because he doesn't have an activation. And then we can fire the uh, we can fire our artillery. Now potentially, if we can suppress uh, maybe this tank unit and one of these units, maybe the dude with the yeah the engineers here, because uh, they have a six on assault. Uh, that's in fact that's what we'll do. We would run two artillery barges of barrages, a four and a three. So they'll both be lights unless we get uh, significant modifications. So we're gonna do, the, do it this way. And then if these guys were suppressed, then I would suggest we'd probably have a hard time doing much else. But that's one of the neat things about chip pool here is that who knows what can happen. So we're gonna keep going I'll be back with a, a report on what happens with the barrages and uh, the next couple of chip balls. Ciao.